I need y'all in here to keep me. Oh my gosh, y'all. I've been wanting one of these. Hold on, let me show y'all. So delicious. Okay. Y'all, what's up, Lay Bays? Welcome back to my channel if you are returning. And of course, welcome if you are new here. It is a beautiful but hot sunny day in South Florida. I am on my way to church. So happy Sunday to everyone. Um, and welcome, of course, to another weekend vlog. Uh, lots going on today uh, at church, especially uh, the 33rd church anniversary. Uh, also, well, the announcement came last Sunday, but pa our pastor also announced uh, the addition of a, a new assistant senior pastor at our church. So we're celebrating the arrival, the official arrival of um, him and his family uh, as a part of our church family. So very excited for that. I am running late, y'all. Shaking my head. I know I got to do better, but I'm trying to not to run in these heels and break my ankle and then not make it into the church at all. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, take you guys with me. We're gonna go ahead and, you know, give God his praise as he should get on this Sunday morning. Uh, so yeah, stick with me y'all for the rest of the day today and stay tuned. I need to hear this. You're running from God. I ran from God. Didn't want to do it. Raquel and I left New York, came down here, had no idea we were gonna start a church because that, that wasn't the reason coming here for it, not just to come. I didn't know. And I was running from it. And that day, when I got in my car and went down to Miami, stood across the street and watched my building on fire. After years of God telling me, you need to be a pastor, start that church. I'm not doing it. And when I watched that building on fire, you may disagree with me that God would never do this, but I need you to hear me. Why would God have Moses stand in a place and light a bush, put it on fire, and talk to him? I looked at the fire and I heard God clearly spoke to me because he had told me to leave that job long. So he was so invitational with me. And then on my side, I was interested. So number two, if you were taking anything from me today, it took invitation and it took interest. Because I didn't have to come to him and he did not have to invite me. All right, y'all, we got food, well, treats. They got food over here, everything decorated. Ooh, there's something in my eye, y'all. Anyway, um, church was so good today, y'all. God is so good. He really is. And it was just things that were talked about today that were just confirmation of things that I've kind of questioned about my own life. Wonderful church anniversary celebration. Uh, so, yeah, God is good. God is good. I love starting, my, starting off my week going to church. It just gives me, you know, a breath of fresh air for the new week. And, um... I'm at Sam's Club, y'all. And this lady actually just hit my car and didn't even like blink. And I literally rolled my window down and uh, was like, um, you you know you just hit my car, right? Oh, I just tapped it, y'all. No, she hit, she legit hit my car. So I had to make sure that there was no damage done. But child, I tell you, the devil be busy. But um, I'm at Sam's Club and 
I am in here for like one or two things, like just a couple of items. Um, I really need to be focused um, because I would say my budget today is like $50 or less um, because I really do need to stay within um, some type of budget and I don't need a lot. So I'm thinking I'm only gonna get my yogurts, my protein shakes, and then I think that might be it. And we'll just see if they have anything that's like a dire need. But like I said, I really am really serious about budgeting for the rest of the year and just staying within budget, building my savings goal, and still having enough you know money to do some fun things. So. We're really heavily focused on that for the rest of the year. Uh, but yeah, let's go into Sam's Club, y'all. Try and stay focused and come with me. <laughs> we in here, y'all. So let's stick to the plan. I was going to get this food time, y'all. But I ended up getting a couch. It's nice, though. It's real nice and comfortable from what I remember. Oh, I like it. This would have been nice. Look, protein, protein, protein shakes. I need y'all in here to keep me. Oh my gosh, y'all. I've been wanting one of these. Hold on, let me show y'all. I've been wanting one of these and I've seen them on online but never had an opportunity to actually like look at them or look at one in person because a lot of times not a lot of time but sometimes i like to sit on my floor and read or even study sometimes if i'm in, in my room and this is exactly what i want and they it looks like they have the color pink but it's not in stock let me take a look at it That was a lot of work, y'all. All right, y'all. We success. We got the pink chair, and then we got the chocolate protein shakes, which I couldn't find at first, but uh, they were just a little further, uh, closer than I thought in the aisle. So I got them though. So we all is well. Okay, this is this week's free sample. Okay, let's try it. Let's start it. Hi. Enjoy $4 off Quilted Northern Ultra Plush Toilet Paper and experience next level comfort. Oh, wow. Look and feel your best with Vital Protein Collagen Peptide. Please and more. And absorb 20 grams of collagen for healthy skin, hair, joints, bones, and tendons. Hmm. Okay, how many are we going to get? Enjoy your sample. That's it. Buy some today. Just one. Oh, my God, y'all. It's it's open. That's annoying. Can't even use that. Well, I wanted to get some either Gatorade or body armor with no sugar. The Gatorade is like 
I've been trying to find drinks without red dye 40 and these the color comes from vegetable juice concentrate so I'm gonna grab um, grab a case of these. Alright friends we are back in better with an outfit change of course it's tennis day y'all I am so happy the tennis club that I'm a part of they changed the Sunday sessions from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Wanna know one of the best parts of the summer? Slice Girl Summer. Let's go ahead and have a tennis lesson with Slice Girls Tennis Club. <laughs> that y'all were but if you have ever slept on tennis wake up y'all okay so hold on i stopped about 20 minutes ago i just haven't turned my watch off yet and this is where we're at 700 calories today y'all <sighs> total calories y'all i am beat i was literally dripping it is so hot in florida right now no breeze you're just out there you're working but it is so hot and it's just the the sun was just beaming there was no air circulation it's just humid it feels like we're living in an oven right now y'all in Florida it is ridiculous but I had an amazing lesson an amazing workout today I love the time change what I was trying to tell y'all before my lesson but it got cut off my phone was tripping uh, but I was trying to tell y'all before the lesson that they changed the time on Sundays from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., which works so much better for me because 10 a.m. is church time. So I could never go on Sundays. So this, them changing it to 6 p.m. was like a godsend for me. I'm like, thank you, thank you, because I don't like missing my tennis lessons. I try and do two per month, but it's been a while because the scheduling, the timing and everything. So them changing it to 6 p.m. was like the best thing that could have happened to me in a long time. So I can keep my lessons up. I started tennis less than a year ago, brand new, never picked up a racket. And just to like feel my progress. I mean, I was hitting them balls today. I could hear it. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, so let this be your sign if you've been thinking about a new hobby learning something new go for it y'all it's not too late absolutely love the game of tennis now i went to the miami open for the first time and it's just opened so many you know uh doors of interest for me as far as like watching tennis going to a tennis tournament like all of the above wanting to actually play now since doing lessons like it's been amazing so i'm going home y'all i'm going home because i'm tired i need something to eat and i need a nice hot day near a cold shower at this point because i'm so hot right now um but yeah lesson went great today all right y'all after that workout i gotta get some fuel so i'm going to one of my favorite places they did not have one in south florida or at least my area for the longest y'all and i love me some keto but if you know me you know i haven't been here in a very long time probably over a year um so yeah, I love me some keto, but y'all. So let's get some fuel after that very, very tiring workout. Pinto, like I wanted to have and half. So yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's perfect. No, you're fine. That's perfect. Um, plenty of corn, please. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot. <laughs> sorry, you did ask me that. Um, is this the regular steak or is that the the lime? Can I do half steak, half chicken? Oh, okay. Um, then I'm just gonna do one then. Um, is this the same chicken? This is our regular chicken, and this is spicy chicken. I honestly prefer. Oh, okay. I'll try that. I just I haven't been here forever, um, because I'm from the Midwest, and then you know you guys just yeah, this is new. Yes, love Qdoba. So I'm like, oh, shoot, y'all got new additions and everything. I think we're good with all of that. Um, I would like a little bit of pico. 
Um, I think that's it. I would like on the side though, guac. And is that like a vinaigrette? This is our citrus lime vinaigrette. Okay, can I have that on the side as well? This is why me and Qdoba go together real bad. Look at the size of this bowl. Didn't have to ask. This is the nachos. And I asked for the nachos on the side. Didn't have to ask for extra scoop. This thing is to capacity. I love me some Qdoba, y'all. Like I said, grew up in the Midwest with it. Oh, everything's included. Including guac. So these nachos are a little... <laughs> They're a little thin today. They're good though. So delicious. Okay. Y'all, that is so good. I love me some Kidoba. I will literally, they're supposed to build one closer to me, but I will literally drive here. Easily for this food. It tastes so good. And the customer service top tier. They were so sweet right, in there. So made it home. Qdoba was on point per usual. Now it's time to shower because I feel like an icky, icky mess. Appreciate y'all so much for rocking with me. Subscribe if you would like to see more from me. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed today's video. And if you enjoy my vlogs in general. And comment down below anything that you guys would like to see next. Let's jump in this shower and then get ready for bed because tomorrow is Monday. As always, I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.